Dylan's Birthday Present, written by Victor D. O. Santos and illustrated by Esther Mikolosh. On the morning of his birthday, Dylan found a box lying in front of his bedroom door. Inside, there was a card. Happy birthday, my dear. Today you can have any present you like. Mum and Dad and your little sister, Isabella. Dad! Mum! Dylan shouted as he entered the kitchen. I want a pet for my present. A pet? His mum looked as shocked as if a crocodile wearing a tutu was standing next to Dylan. Yes, a pet! Dobre, said his mum in Ukrainian. What pet would you like? A dog, a turtle, or perhaps a dinosaur. Mum, everyone knows dinosaurs are too big for our house. I want a chicken. Do you know why? Um, because you want to spend the whole day cleaning the house, (laughs) joked his dad. Of course not. I want a chicken. Because I want to talk to it in all the languages we speak at home. Please. You want to talk to a chicken in Portuguese, Ukrainian and English, his mum asked. Yes, I promise I'll take care of her like you and dad take care of me and Isabella. Tudo bem. Dylan answered his dad in Portuguese. You can have a chicken. Dylan ran to his room with a funny little dance and singing, I am getting a chicken, I am getting a chicken. Later that day, Dad returned home with a chicken, the size of Mr. Spaghetti, Dylan's favourite teddy bear. Here is your birthday present, my love. In this little pouch is some ground corn to feed her. Dylan kissed his parents and ran to show his chicken to his best friend. Emma, please meet Kiki, my polyglot chicken. A chicken? That's so cool. But what is a polyglot? asked Emma. A polyglot is someone who can speak many languages. That's why my mum sometimes calls me her little polyglot. Cool, like a language superhero? Exactly. So I can speak to Kiki in Zulu? asked Emma, whose parents were born in South Africa. Of course, Kiki loves all languages and thinks they are all important. So buona. Kiki, Emma said in Zulu. Should we feed her? She looks a little hungry. Um, Buona omus. Emma replied cheerfully. Dylan hung the pouch of ground corn around Kiki's neck. Yes. Dylan said in Ukrainian. And just as he told her to, Kiki started pecking at the corn. While Kiki ate, Dylan and Emma lay on the grass to play their favourite game, the cloud game. Look at that cloud, Dylan said excitedly. It looks like my dad's hair. And that small one looks like Kiki, Emma exclaimed. Wait, where is Kiki? Dylan asked. She was nowhere to be seen. Dylan started to cry. It was his birthday and he had lost his new friend. Don't cry, Dylan, Emma said as she put her arm around him. I promise we'll find Kiki. Dylan cried even harder. Look, Emma pointed to something on the ground. I bet we can find Kiki if we follow her corn trail. Let's go. The two friends followed the trail of corn, which led to an old house. They knocked on the door. What do you want? asked a grumpy old woman. 
Um, have you seen my chicken? asked Dylan. I haven't seen any chickens, but I am sure my dog would love to chase one. The two friends dashed away. They continued following Kiki's horn trail and knocking on doors one after the other. No sign of Kiki. They were just about to give up when Emma suddenly heard clucking sounds. Cluck, 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 cluck. They followed the sound to a house with a red door. Emma knocked and a smiling man answered. Have you seen my chicken? Dylan asked. The man looked confused. Emma repeated the question, but the man just kept staring at them. Suddenly Dylan recognised the language on the man's t-shirt. It was Portuguese, the same language he and his dad spoke every day. He realised that the man probably didn't speak English, so he decided to repeat the question, but in Portuguese. When the man heard Dylan's question, he smiled from ear to ear. He turned away, leaving the door open, and headed to his backyard. When he returned, he had something under his arm. It was Kiki. She appeared in my backyard a few minutes ago, explained the man in Portuguese. She must have heard my chickens speak in Chickenese and decided to come chat with them. He handed Kiki to Dylan. You should always take good care of your friends, including your chicken, because... He pointed to his t-shirt. Friends are worth more than gold, said Dylan. Obrigado. You are lucky to be a polyglot, said Emma. And Kiki is lucky too. But you speak many languages. Your superpower saved her. I'm also lucky to have you as my friend, Emma. I couldn't have found Kiki without your hearing superpower. Portuguese helped us, say Kiki this time, but next time maybe we'll need Zulu to solve our mystery. Dylan told his parents how he and Emma had solved the mystery of the missing polyglot chicken. I guess Kiki is here to stay, his dad added. Tomorrow I will build her a coop. Isabella, Dylan's sister, started clapping and Kiki let out a happy cluck sound. See, Kiki understands all the languages we speak, Dylan said excitedly. She is a polyglot too. As they sang happy birthday to Dylan, Emma wondered what pet she would ask for on her birthday. Press the button below to subscribe, like and share. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.